right guys welcome back to another vlog so I want to come on here today and just do like a little mini vlog I actually got ready today which is very out of the ordinary I have not put makeup on in like a few weeks I feel like it's good to give your skin a break but I also was not doing anything so there was just no need for me to put on makeup what is going on right there um so yeah, I put my makeup on today, washed my hair, washed my sheets earlier. Today is Thursday. This week was a long week and I'm also PMSing, which just made it feel like that much longer and I'm just that much more irritable and sensitive and sounds are bothering me, people are bothering me. I just like can't with anything right now. I'm just like irritable. Um, but it's Thursday and I am actually going to be wrapping two well actually one and put it into one bag a gift for my friend elena her niece's birthday party this saturday she has three nieces actually but two of their birthdays the two older ones Isla and emmy their birthdays are really close to each other so they always do like a joint birthday party in the summer i always wanted a summer birthday when i was younger now that i think of it because i feel like summer birthday parties are so much fun like i feel like when you have a winter birthday you're stuck with bowling the skating um roller skate i almost just said skating rink. i guess you could do the skating rink like roller skating and pizza parties chuck e cheese like you're stuck in like with inside stuff um or if you have a backyard you can always do it in your backyard but i actually now that i think about it, i had one birthday in our backyard and a clown came literally me i am a clown now but yeah so i'm anyways back to my story i am wrapping island emmy's gifts and i just thought i would show you guys what i got them it's so freaking cute from target their cat and jack line is so adorable and it's so cheap like everything is so inexpensive which is perfect for kids because i feel like kids grow so fast they grow out of clothes so fast and if you just want to get like cute new outfits i feel like the cat and jack stuff i always find really cute stuff whenever i have to buy them gifts for their birthdays so i thought i'd show you guys that i'm gonna wrap them kind of just catch up on whatever um i'm actually going out to sushi tonight with my friend carly i'm excited i haven't had sushi in a while we're either gonna go to a place called yo's which is in Danville or a place called Amakara in Dublin. I've actually heard that Amakara is really, really good. I've never been there. And we're going to go early, like around like 5 or 5.30. It's like my favorite dinner reservation, especially when I have to work the next day. Like, I need to be in bed by 10 at the bare minimum. No funky shit. Because I've, I've had my times where I've gone out so freaking late and had to go to work the next day. And it's just honestly never worth it i mean unless you're doing something crazy out of the ordinary but if you're not it's just not worth it it's really not worth your day feeling like poo so let's wrap these gifts you guys are gonna die when you see what i got them so first off <laughs> these little sweat shorts are to die for i honestly can't so there's these little sweat shorts from cat and jack they're like a cute pink and then I got this little rainbow tee. I thought that would be really cute with shorts. And then I got, so Isla or Emmy, cause they're like the same size can wear it. And then I got this shirt. This like is to die for, for me. Oh, who is pulling up? Um, it says Los Angeles, California, West Coast. And it's like a little graphic, like little, little girl muscle tee. I think it's so freaking cute. I'm like, hmm. I should get one and then these are the shorts that I got to match the little purple tank So I just thought those outfits are really cute and they're like easy to throw on it's gonna be hot here for a while and Bear Okay, and then besides the outfits I got them this like killed me I live for shit like this I was gonna get the lip smackers, but they didn't have the flavor or the scent that I liked. I wanted to do like the Coca-Cola one, but they only had a pack that had a ton of them in there and they just were none of the original ones. But I saw this and it's the More Than Magic brand at Target and it's Vanilla Berry Breeze Lip Balm and Squish Toy. So, so freaking cute. It's literally, this is like a lip balm, like a chapstick. And then this is the keychain that hangs off of it. And it's literally a donut with sprinkles. So that can be for Isla or Emmy, whichever one they like. And then this is the other one. So freaking cute. And it's like squishy. This is a cake slice. I just thought that was so cute. And I know at that age, that's when, at least for me, I remember I started getting really into like chapsticks and having like a little purse, like stuff like that. So I'm going to wrap those right now. And I got this bag, but I freaking forgot to get a card. I hate when I do that. I hate when I do that. 
<laughs> I'm just honestly proud of myself for getting a gift for whatever party I'm going to a few days before rather than the morning of because I feel like that's a common thing um, for me. And then I just got them this little happy birthday bag, but I'm going to wrap it up. So with tissue, I always take the tissue with my hand, pinch it, and fluff it like this. This bag is kind of wide, so it's going to need a lot of tissue paper, but just trust the process of this. And if you're wondering what this little chocolate spot is on my sweats, it's from um, a drumstick. <laughs> and then another one. We'll do white. Do another pink. And we'll do one more white at the end. Okay, voila! Little B day bag. I love shit like this. I think it's so cute. So, all I need is a card and then yeah that party's on saturday i think it starts at two o'clock so i'll be doing that on saturday and then next weekend i leave for nashville i'm literally gonna do a whole entire nashville vlog i've decided just from literally me getting there the whole weekend because we have so much stuff planned we have so many good restaurants planned i'm mostly excited to eat <laughs> there and try a really good barbecue spot i guess from actually watching other people's vlogs and just researching that there's something in nashville that is really popular it's called hot chicken and it's literally a bowl of mac and cheese like in a cast iron skillet with this like saucy but not too saucy to where it's like too rich it looks like like hot chicken breast i don't i think it's fried in sauce it looks so freaking good and like sliced on top really yummy so yeah can't wait to eat that but i want to show you guys also this little basket i got when i went to target too so freaking cute i have my barefoot dreams blanket in here but i love it i just thought it was really cute it was like beachy but rustic but not too i don't know i don't even know what word i'm trying to say i'm not an interior designer as you could tell <laughs> but i thought it was really cute it wasn't like your typical um blanket basket i feel like you could put your dog's toys in it it's just really cute decoration i like the washed white i thought it was really cute and i like this light color i'm into like the light colors right now but yeah let me put this down and put this away and then i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit so i just like redid my lip color and it reminded me of what i had asked you guys earlier okay do you guys have any dupes or any recommendations for a super light nude that has a very cool pink undertone not peach undertone not brown undertone i have all that already um anything that's similar to flesh pot by mac so i was informed by google that flesh pot was discontinued which if i knew it was going to discontinue i would have bought like 10 of them that's probably my favorite lipstick of all time it's one that i think i wore for the longest period of time and i'm so upset because i feel like i can't find another nude lipstick that looks like it i've bought a few I bought one from Lawless. It's called Platinum. Kind of similar, but it has a peach undertone, and I don't want a peach undertone. I want it to be cool pink. Um, yeah, just like a cool pink undertone. I don't want any brown undertones. I don't want any orange undertones. Have all that, and I personally don't like it on my skin. I look better with a cooler toned lip. So, I wore was wearing Myth earlier, actually, and I liked it. I wore it with Cork, which was kind of a uh, dramatic combo I would say I feel like cork is really really dark I'm used to using oak by mac by the way I'm like a mac lip girl that's like I've been using that since high school I'm never gonna stop using it it's like my favorite lip products for sure besides the only thing I would say is the Charlotte Tilbury um, iconic nude lip liner that is my all-time favorite lip liner because of the staying power the color of it I actually have it on right now and I love it it stays the color is the perfect brown it's not too like pooey orange it's not too dark it stays like i literally can eat a sandwich and it's still there so 
back to my point i used myth earlier because that's just about the lightest that's why my hair is always so greasy in the front because i'm always touching it but i can't help it when it's like sitting in front of my face but so i used myth earlier which i love myth it's just really 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 white like there's not a lot of pink undertones to it it's kind of just like white which i like because it cancels out my lips i love that look it's my jam but it's just not the same here i'm gonna set this right here sorry you guys are probably looking at the ceiling right now so okay so how can i focus on this and not myself god damn it sorry if you see my foot okay so these are the two lipsticks this lighting is probably horrible but this is flesh pot right here and this is myth right here so you see how flesh pot has like I don't know a pink cool not shimmery but it has like that tone to it that myth just doesn't have myth looks more like flesh tone flesh pot is literally like pinkish pinkish white this is more just stark nude white and I need something that matches that so I've also tried I'll set that down. This is like the shit I live for is comparing swatches to makeup. This is like what my mom could do. My mom and I could do literally for hours. We've basically done this before for hours. But this is the one I got to try and match the flesh pot. So this is flesh pot right here. And then this is called Platinum by Lawless. I actually really like her products. Let me get closer come on don't do this to me don't do this to me no Ugh. you know what i've just had enough with today I used a new bronzer today, which bronzers are my shit. They are my favorite product I feel like to buy, honestly, besides lipsticks and lip oh, shit. Lipstick and lipsticks and lip liners. Probably my favorite product to buy is bronzers by far. So I used a new one today and it is the chocolate soleil from Too Faced. It looks like this. I love Too Faced packaging. And it smells like chocolate. Um it's kinda hard to open though, which is not my fave but okay so this is what this is what it looks like right here it's really pretty i feel like it's just a really nice chocolate brown even how it's described it's not too cool it's not too warm which is always my problem i feel like i can never find a bronzer that's um you know not warm but then not you know ashy and muddy on my face so i really liked it i tried it today i really liked the consistency of it i'll have to see what the staying power is but from first impression of using it i really really liked it and it smells so yummy and i just love their freaking packaging and i love that it smells like chocolate like i'm a chocolate fiend so for me that's just an added bonus but yeah i want to show you guys that and then if you guys have any recommendations for a dupe for my flesh pot my poor little flesh pot then let me know i have cream cup by mac too and i have cream de nude it's just not the same so i actually have on right now i have on myth with cream cup which i feel like if i mix the two then maybe it'll imitate the flesh pots but sometimes i just want to run out of my house with one lipstick like i already have to bring a lip liner a lip gloss a chapstick freaking hair tie gum like there's already 900 things i want to bring i would like if i could get my favorite lipstick just in one two okay well i am about to go make some pasta salad so i'll actually show you guys it's really easy and i feel like if you're in a pinch this is great nothing like a little boxed boxed food item there's my senior picture right there <laughs> but let's make this pasta salad the water's probably Okay, so I'm going to make this pasta salad right here. If you guys are in a pinch and you need to make something really fast, 
or you just want to make something in the summer or you need to bring something to someone's house it is this betty crocker suddenly pasta salad so this is the classic pasta red peppers and seasoning so freaking yummy i love it and you can add honestly a lot to it which i feel like is what can make it not feel like it's out of a box but honestly i love shit out of the box like i mean i love when stuff is curated from recipe but sometimes i just love my box stuff so i'm actually making two boxes of it because this is how much pasta comes in one box and if you think that's gonna feed my family you're wrong <laughs> I could probably eat this whole pasta. I could eat this whole bag, this whole box, actually, for sure, by myself. So I'm gonna double the dressing recipe. So it says three tablespoons of cold water. So I'll do the cold water first. So I'm gonna do six tablespoons of the cold water. And sorry if there's a lot of noise in the background. The washer's going right now and I have the fan going because it's hot, it's shit in my house. It's literally musty. Okay, so here's one. And I'm gonna add in both the seasoning packets that came in the boxes. I'm just gonna whisk it together. I'm also gonna throw the pasta in because the water is boiling. And did you guys know that, oh shit. Did you guys know that, oh my God, no. That you're supposed to add the salt to the water after it's done boiling? I had no idea. No idea. Okay, so I'm gonna add this pasta. It says to cook for 12 minutes, so I'll just put the timer on. I don't know why I have this light on, it's for sure making it hotter. That should be enough carrots, I can add more always. Right, let's check out these olives. These are large, so I'm probably gonna have to cut them in half. Okay, so I wanna show you guys the finished product. I'll flip the camera around, but this is with the pasta and just the seasoning, which I tried a little bite of it, and it's plenty. I'm gonna add my carrots and my olives. Honestly, might be let me stir the carrots in, like half the carrots in, see what it's looking like. Okay. Let me add the olives in. I'm telling you, it's so freaking good and no one will ever know. You have to bring it to their house. It's from a box, unless they, of course, use a box too. Let's just add the rest in. I actually did enough, if not more. For this kind of went ham on the carrots but it's okay i don't love olives everyone else in my family likes olives besides sunny so have to do this when you're cooking or baking especially when you're baking i'll get all that good stuff and then this is what she looks like i'll show you guys really yummy really bright honestly the taste the seasoning is so good you can kind of add whatever you'd like to it too like you could add tomatoes in there i feel like tomatoes will get too mushy but i feel like olives and carrots is like the perfect combination so i'm gonna pop this in the fridge and then enjoy it in a few hours thanks for watching my boxed pasta salad <laughs> hi guys okay so it's sunday i just got it on the mall i actually was not planning on going to the mall but I had to drop Sunny off there. He was going shopping with one of his friends. And I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm just gonna go in. Um, I just got, well, I already had some of it. My favorite pretzel, the <laughs> jalapeno pepperoni from Wetzel's. Well, no. My favorite pretzel is the Auntie Anne's called, er, pe pepperoni pretzel. That's my favorite. But it closed since COVID in the mall and they've, they've just had Wetzel's. So Wetzel's has grown on me. I never used to get Wetzel's. And I got it the last few times I went shopping. I think I got one like a week ago. <laughs> I go to the mall all the time. Um, so I love these. What was hard for me to get used to with Wetzel's pretzels is I feel like they're way more doughy than Antian's. I feel like Antian's are more like crispy like a true pretzel this is like dough but this just came out of the oven so it's like extra doughy 
Um, but I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Mm. Cause I got some good things, so I'll show you guys after I finish eating this. I also, the last time I went to Wetzel's a week ago, I tried their strawberry lemonade and it's hella bomb. It's really sweet, so if you don't like sweet drinks, do not get it. You're not gonna like it. But I feel like it's good with the jalapeno um, pepperoni pretzel because I feel like that's so spicy and this is like sweet, so it kind of like counteracts it. But I actually went and sold like a, a lot of clothes today at this place called Crossroads Trading Company. I think they have them all over, but there's one like 20 minutes from my house. So I went there. I had a bunch of clothes during COVID that I had set in a garbage bag that had like a lot of it still had tags on it. A lot of the clothes were from my old work. I used to work at Vici and I just had like a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that wasn't even worn, but I didn't want to sell it on Poshmark. If you guys sell on Poshmark, you know, it's first off, it's like very time consuming. It's not an easy, like I'm just going to upload a picture, say the description, like they ask you 500 questions. You have to take, you know, multiple pictures. Sometimes things can sit on Poshmark for a really long time. I've made a lot of money selling my things on Poshmark, but I feel like I just pick and choose what I want to sell on there. Um, I like to typically sell like Lululemon, um, anything that's like a little bit on the nicer side because then I feel like you're actually going to get some like money back on it because they do take 30% out of the amount that someone buys the item for. So there's that. So I just had a bunch of like I had stuff like from Pretty Little Thing with tags on it, like stupid little dresses that I bought for something and then I didn't end up wearing it but my camera's dying so I'm gonna eat this um and then I'll show you really quickly what I got from Lululemon but um yeah I went there and sold I made like 150 off of like a bag of clothes so not bad they give you cash and it's super easy so if you guys are in the area and you need to sell some things um I would say they need to be kind of in season or like plain enough to where you know people will want to buy it um, they do take things that are worn. They just need to be laundered and I would say it's good Like if, if it has tags on it, it's perfect because they look it up in the system See the price of it and then you get the money right away. It's not like consignment where you have to wait for it to sell It's really cool um, But I'm gonna eat this pretzel and then I'll show you guys what I got really quickly before my camera dies. So I finished my pretzel I'm gonna try and make this quick so my camera doesn't die in the middle of while I'm talking but I went to Lululemon first. That was my first stop in the mall strip that I wasn't supposed to go on so I got this. I love their scrunchies. This little scrunchie right here. It's like a really, really, I don't know, a really, really cute pink color, like a light, adorable. Not blush, but not hot pink. And then I got these. That's only $8. I got these. Okay, so they're a line high rise short, which is I feel like everyone has them. I feel like I'm really left out and don't have them. I got them on sale for $39. And the color is Cassis, I think it's this like burgundy color so they're like a bike short kind of but they're super flattering and they have that flattering back like you know Lululemon pants which I love I'm obsessed with the lines it's all I wear but I got these for 39 bucks and they were originally 58 and they were actually cute with the crop I'm wearing right now I'm wearing this crop from Brandy it's like a ribbed um a ribbed crop that's not super tight and I feel like this looks so cute with black so I'm really excited to wear these or I could wear these with like a graphic tee and some sneakers but I feel like these are really cute and I do not own one pair of bike shorts because I feel like I've never liked how they looked on my body um I feel like they put like they they um they look weird on my thighs like they kind of push them if that makes sense like the bottom has always been too tight whenever I've tried them on and I just feel like they've never fit right maybe I've just been trying like I think I tried a pair of cotton ones before I haven't even tried that many pairs but I was like okay this color I saw them on the sale rack and I was like usually I wouldn't pick up this color but it was actually really cute it like took me by surprise and I had to get them because they were 40 instead of 58 39 instead of 58 that's like a big difference and then I went to Sephora and I got two things so I got just this small pack, it's only five treatments of the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta um, Peel Pad. I love these, you guys know I love these, I always talk about them. Um, these I have 
to have them at all times but I have some at home and I didn't know how many I had left and I didn't feel like spending $90 on the big pack where it's 35 treatments so I just got these it's five treatments I think it was like 17 bucks no I don't even think it was 17 I don't know the email me receipt but it's cheaper than spending $90 um so this will get me through the week and probably next week because I think I have like five in there and I don't use them every single night I I do sometimes it depends like if my feel like my skin needs it I'll use it like two nights in a row then take a break I feel like I'll probably use it this week like tonight I didn't use them last night I use it the night before like every other day or like three to four times a week I like to use these I don't want to use too much acid though because then I feel like my face gets stripped um and I also kind of started using some tretinoin like retinol it's like retinol but it's different it basically helps with like cell regrowth and your skin like getting layers off of your skin and like um cell okay my camera died like I knew it was going to I think what I left off on as I was talking about tretinoin um, so I started using that on my face. So my face has been a little dry. So I've been Using these a little bit less. So I just got the five treatments to hold me over and then the other thing I got which I'm excited about is this Brush from Sephora. It's a 64 pro brush. It's for foundation or anything cream really like you could use it with cream bronzer Cream brush, but I'm gonna open it and show you guys what it looks like. I don't have one. No, I have one foundation brush It's Tarte, but it's short and fat and all the same length this has like a little bit of those fibers okay please focus why are you doing this to me <laughs> the fibers that kind of stick up on top and it just looks like a really oh this is better angle it just looks like a really good why is this happening a really good like brush to buff in your foundation i've actually never gotten a foundation brush from sephora or actually any brush for that matter um i'm sorry i'm so taken aback by my nails right now i have regular polish on because i was waiting until the day before i leave for nashville which is thursday to get my nails done and my timing of my nail appointments was just funky like this week would have been three weeks and my nails were hanging by a thread so i ended up taking the gel off at home and putting regular nail polish on so i'm stuck with this until thursday so not bad but yeah i got this brush and i really really like it i'm gonna try on the shorts for you guys too because they're so freaking cute um so these are sold out online in this color um but check back i don't know maybe they add more they were in stock in my store but they're such a cute color they're gonna be so cute with black and i feel like this color is gonna be so good for fall and winter and i can even wear them now too um and it's just a really pretty burgundy color and they're gonna look so good with black i actually tried it on with a black crop when i was in the store and they looked so good i feel like it's also easier when you have a darker i mean a color legging because then on the top you don't have to wear a color necessarily like you could color block with it and do another shade of this but i think it looks so good with black so I'll show you guys what they look like on. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is what I scored on. I had to show you guys how cute these are actually on. So these are the Lululemon Align 6-inch high-rise shorts. They have a super high-rise and then a regular rise. These are the regular rise. These are not the super high-rise, but they're just so cute can't really tell in this lighting but I'm wearing a black tank and it's just like the perfect like offset color so that you're not wearing black all the time I wear so much black so these are gonna be so cute right now I can wear them in the fall I feel like I can do them in the winter with like a baggy graphic tee or a sweatshirt and just be comfy but they're really cute and I feel like they're super flattering I love the color of them though they like tuck your waist in flatten your stomach out and then make your butt look good like you can't ask for anything more so if these are still in stock you guys should get them i know that lululemon has a ton of different colors in these shorts but these are only 39 and they're originally 58 so if you see them online snag them but i wanted to show you guys what they look like on but this will be the end of my little vlog thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys after after I go to Nashville? No, I'm gonna do a pack with me. I'll see you guys. I'm gonna do a pack with me for Nashville and then I'm gonna do an actual Nashville vlog. So I'll see you guys then.